Hello guys and welcome to the United Man. My name is Shane Leonce. Um Today, we're just going to be catching up with the latest in re regards to the Matis De Litt saga. Um, guys, if you like the channel and if you like the content, please subscribe. Um, and definitely drop a like and leave some comments to let me know what you guys think. Okay, let's get into it. So, what do we know? Facts are that it was broken yesterday in regards to uh, May United being close or very close to a deal. This is by uh, Gerard Romero. Barcelona is his first choice and, and has been, um, which is why I think the deal will be done. I, th I, I don't believe that we're going to be hijacking this deal when you look at how the two clubs are set up and stack up with each other. But Barcelona can win the league title uh, next season. Uh, not saying we can't or it's impossible for us, but there's a lot more of a chance in them winning the league title than there is us. So, um, Barcelona is obviously in the Champions League. We're in Europa League. Now, if he's the type of person that wants to build a legacy based on winning titles, um, immediately playing with the, you know, the fanciful players, you know, the Messi's of the world, um, then he will join Barcelona. If it's a case of he wants to build his own legacy and have his stock rise, you know, from the ground up, which is where Man United are seemingly now, then he'd join a Manchester United. But what we do know, as I said, is he his first choice is Barcelona. Uh, he previously agreed a deal, but his head got turned as, you know, in terms of he knew that more money was going to be available, which is probably brought on by his agent, Mino Raiola. Um, also, which is his job, I suppose. Barcelona, at the moment, they, well, sorry, they were unwilling to match whatever the demands he he, he was asking for. Now, I believe that May United had had an offer uh, tabled for him, which was, I suppose, around 250k a week. But, guys, obviously it's broken that May United are looking to pull out or have pulled out because the hierarchy believe he is or has already agreed to join join Barcelona. So it's pointless them continuing their efforts. Now, with that being said, guys, I believe that we were you being used as a bargaining chip. Raul has gone to Barcelona and said, right, this is what my guy wants. This is what he needs to have. Barcelona said, well, we don't want to pay that. He's then gone and said, "Well, Manchester United have offered us this, this, and this, and this. And if you guys aren't going to pay us this, we're going to we're off. We're going to go." Now, all it would have taken is just a slight compromise, um, whether it be earn, earnings through bonuses or whatever the case may be, or an initial signing on fee for for uh, Delit. We don't know, but the point is now that it's all up in the air. All of a sudden, it's news broken saying, "Right." This is what's happening. But as I said, that was probably a smoke screen, guys, to try and get Barcelona to agree. Because um, if you imagine, you've been linked to him all this time, and all of a sudden news breaks from your camp saying a deal to Manchester United is very close. And you know it's a credible source. Um, however, they do have ways or means of trying to work things to their advantage in terms of uh, Raul and, and other agents and I believe that was probably the ploy. That was probably what happened. They just said they they got in contact with a, a reputable source and said, "Look, Manchester United are offers this." The list really close to actually saying yes, and then they've run with it. You know, they've given permission to run with that story, and that's you know, obviously it's got back to Barcelona. Barcelona have obviously reacted, panicked maybe, and reacted said, "Ah, oh, we've got to get this deal done." Let's offer him maybe not what he was asking for, but as close to as possible, or, or found a roundabout way of making him happy. So. That's where I believe that we're at the moment. Now, all this, all, all, all the um, information that was leaked to it, we want, he wanted to play with Frankie De Jong. You know, Eric, like I said, everything in terms of club v club was stacked in Barcelona's favour. Now, the money initial transfer fee probably wouldn't have been an, an, an issue for Barcelona. I know they do need to sell. I believe they need to sell just in terms of man managing or sorry, balancing their, their wage structure. Because uh, obviously they're looking at bringing in Antoine Griezmann as well. This whole Van der Sar versus Overmars thing, I don't really think there's much in it, or I don't believe there is much in it, because if Dilit is the kind of character that he's perceived to be, he's making his own decision, him and his agent. Now, they may have had some advice for him based on their previous experience, but he sounds like he, 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 he sounds like he's a guy that makes his own decisions. Um, the person that I believe possibly would have had more insight 
on an influence with him would have been his teammate and former Manchester United player Daley Blin. So he's more relevant. He's more present. You know, so I don't really think the whole uh, uh, Overmars and Van der Sar thing was really ever um, in the picture. The whole thing with Minel Road being his agent is the fact that he'll get the deal done and it's going to be as beneficial and as lucrative financially as possible. Now, that's where I believe this whole thing came from. That's where I believe the whole smoke screen of, like I said, it's probably a there's probably a possibility that it would have happened. I don't know, but as I said now, as news has broken, that the fact is that apparently it's been reported Manchester United are putting out of the race for him because they believe that the deal for Barcelona and the lit has been agreed already. So it's pointless them continuing. Now, like I said, I didn't I didn't report on it being you know a potential thing happening purely because. It's a we've we've been burnt we've been stung before you know I remember in Modric back in the day Tony Cruz uh, Sergio Ramos Antoine Griezmann all those guys now you know it's not to say it is impossible it wasn't anywhere near happening I believe it, it was a possibility as I say but the likelihood of it when all we knew as facts was he wanted to join Barcelona they couldn't agree on a fee so Mino Mino Raiola played the game and he played it well. And that looks like he's going to be joining Barcelona, guys. Uh, so, yeah, I'm not going to lie and say I didn't get excited. I didn't think it wasn't a possibility because I did. Um, I did get excited. But like I said, it wasn't in enough in terms of, you know, just blind faith or, you know, just thinking, yeah, this can get done. But don't get me wrong. I did say if Woodward could pull off this deal then, you know, he's gone a little bit of a way of redeeming himself from all those bad deals. I've got a little way to go, though, still. But, yeah, in any case, yeah. So, as I say, let's just see. I know it's it's been reported that it may not have pulled out a deal, but let's see how it goes. Okay, guys, let me know what you think. Don't forget, like, share, and subscribe. Take care, guys. See you later.